look at you with the Lord and lay on our hearts. Just let me, just let me give you a little, uh, a little, uh, well, hear me. It took some everything for me to make it here tonight. I mean, at the beginning of my journey from my home to God's house, um, there was an accident. And there was standstill traffic. And I'm trying to be, you know, cool about it. Didn't want to get upset. Didn't want to fret. But they weren't moving. I'm just trying to maintain my uh, Christian Shout it all over the church. There are some S 
expectations that God has of you and of me. We now have an opportunity, church, to represent God in a greater and greater way. God has saved us so that we might represent him in this world. Paul, this master teacher, Paul, this great scholar, Paul, this great church leader, and this great church planter. Y'all, Paul is consumed with the story of Jesus Christ. I mean, you can see it in all of his writings.
that prevent us from readily understanding what was written. Yeah. And in biblical terms, sometimes these are cultural gaps. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes they are linguistic gaps. And sometimes they are social gaps. Yeah. And sometimes they are historical gaps.
becomes your spiritual act of worship. Logicals and literally. 
was this caterpillar, and he was busy uh, cutting leaves with his little jaws and, and spinning webs, and, and the little boy entertained himself for hours just watching this little caterpillar cut these leaves and, and spin his little web, and, and eventually he made himself a little cocoon, and he hid himself in that cocoon. The boy came out a few days later, no caterpillar, just a cocoon. He kept checking on him periodically, no caterpillar, just a cocoon. He kept on checking on him until one day he went to that cocoon and it looked like it had been ripped open and whatever was in it had gotten out. And so he thought maybe some other insect had come and ate up the caterpillar and he just went around playing in the yard. And, 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 and listen, while he was watching the caterpillar uh, make that cocoon, he kept looking down and taunting him and telling that caterpillar, you show me his ugly. <laughs> and that caterpillar didn't pay him any mind. He just kept on doing what he was doing. You show me his ugly. And he just kept on spinning and looking cool. And he kept saying, you show me his ugly. Then the caterpillar disappeared. And when he looked at the cocoon and saw that it was 